Hello again. Do you know what? I haven't played golf for four and a half weeks. Rain, uh, more rain, charity day, rain, family holiday, whereupon I got a bad back from a, a bed that was too soft. So the point of this video is for me, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to play, I'm going to see what my faults are. Because before you can go have lessons, you need to find out what's going on. I mean, the first questions the guy's going to ask you, or lady, is what's your bad shot? What shape are you hitting? Are you hitting it fat? Are you hitting it thin? So I've got to find out. I've got to put some dots on a graph to find out. But I am absolutely... I'm, I'm at Gloucester. I haven't been here for some considerable time because of the break and everything. I'm itching to get out there, see what we've got. This is an ice cold in Alex moment, I can assure you. I've got about um, 15 minutes and uh, I want to get out. Well, the ice cold in Alex reference is when they're sat in the bar at the end of the film, staring at a beer after being stuck in the desert for a long time. I'm sure you've seen it. I wasn't expecting to see that. 103 wedge. And I've caught that a little bit on the up. It's sort of one of those semi-thin shots. And we've gone long. Now as you can see, Green's maintenance is going on at the moment. Green keepers are working hard and getting these greens ready for the winter. Well, I know some of you will be wondering, he hasn't played for four and a half weeks, why on earth is he taking driver? Well, when your handicap is way down low, this has to work. You have to find the short grass or miss the fairway by only a small amount and have that clear shot to the green to get all those pars you need and the occasional birdie. So I have to collect data on it. So I have to use it. And I must admit, that first drive surprised me a little bit. But on the other hand, I've still got this nagging, sort of dull ache in the lower of my back and I can't move very quickly. So perhaps me not being able to uh, and try and knock the hell out of the golf ball is helping me. We shall find out as we go around. But yeah, if I don't drive for show, I most certainly am not putting for dough. Well, with fairway bunkers down the second here, this is one place where you really do need a straight shot. The great thing about this evening is there isn't any wind messing with me. So everything I hit is going to be real. I can't blame the wind for blowing me about, blowing the ball about or anything. This is very honest golf. You know, it's coming up to the, uh, the end of August. I'm sure most of us will have had a summer holiday of some sort. We'll have had a break from golf. So when you come back to it, whether it's two weeks or three weeks or however much time you've missed out on. Then you're going back to basics, aren't you? Grip, stance, aim, ball position. How do I want to start my takeaway? So there's no negative stuff in here. You know, I'm not thinking about the round I had two days ago where I kept hooking it in the rough and I lost three balls. It's a clean slate. So we can go back to basics the title of this video. So no wind means I get an honest result. It shows exactly what I've done. And on that one I've come down very steep on the ball. I hit it fat. Well it's not brilliant but it's out. A little firm, adjusting to the pace of the greens. And look how much time I spend over this. It's downhill, it's right to left. 
I got to double check everything, get the right line and the right pace. And even though it's a bogey, it's what I'd call a good bogey. I'm going to switch to the three wood. And there's an immediate issue here. Clubhead is very much late to the party. And I think that's just back related, to be honest. Just a little hack out. And we'll take our happy bogey. It's stroke index one, so a bogey isn't too bad. That's a bit of a slap. There's certainly an issue with rhythm, timing, and of course speed. And getting through the ball is a bit of an afterthought. Yeah, I am finishing on my toe, but it's far too late. And that's because the body isn't really working. The one thing I wanted into this green this evening was a full shot. I didn't want to be in no man's land trying to finesse something over water. That would have been a very poor choice. So six iron off the tee leaves me a full shot. Which I think was a very wise thing to do. This is an over the top swing and I hit it right off the top edge. The first thing I've noticed is I'm losing my height in the downswing. So that's something I need to be more aware of next time I practice and next time I play. Because that's the routine I'm in at the moment. Practice, play, practice, play. On the short side with an awful lot of rough to go over. Now this isn't US Open rough, so I can play this shot that I've been playing for about 35 years. Pitching wedge, land it short, bumble it through the long grass. <laughs> that much! And we get a one foot bird. So the short game, although rusty, is still there. This is an even worse drive than the sixth. Right out the heel, into the trees on the right. And it hit one of them and spat it out to the middle of the fairway. I do not deserve to be there. That is certain. Slap the seven iron really badly. Didn't get clean contact on that. So we're staring down a bogey and there it is. Eighth tee. If you're coming back from a summer holiday and you haven't played for a bit and you're having a knock on your first round, then by the time you get to the eighth tee, you'll have some, some idea of what's going wrong. For me, it's the back mostly. When you've got sciatica and you're walking around like an old man who's crapped himself, you start using different muscles higher up the back and that sort of thing. Same way as if you've hurt your leg, you end up with an achy calf because you're not using your thigh or whatever. I was going to play 18 and sticking at 9. I'm not going to push the envelope today. Got 18 on Monday though. So what happened? Um, for some inexplicable reason, I hit two good opening drives. Where did they come from? But from the third tee onwards, it was very much very steep down into the ball. And there was a bit of the over the tops as well, which I, it's gonna be a little bit back related. It might, I might be swaying. I don't know, we'll find out when I look at this video. But I basically got my table laid out. I've got a program of works. I can figure out what I need to do next. And the most important thing I've got to do is be patient. Don't expect to be shooting low scores straight away. I've got to allow this back to heal a bit more. And I'm certainly in no position to go into the studio with Matt and hit 57 irons on the simulator. 
no, 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 no. So that's gonna go, that's gonna get pushed back probably a fortnight. And then when the back's working, then I can work on my game. Am I worried? Am I panicking? No. This is golf. This is what golf does to us. This is what our body does to us, especially as we're getting a wee bit older. So par five and a par three to finish. I'm gonna see if my mind can control my body and I can finish with two pars. I don't think I'm going over the pond with driver, do you? Let's try a five iron. Sorry for the long chat. Sometimes I don't know when to shut up. But I was not expecting to play this well after a break. It's the first golf shot I've hit in a while. I got to keep this left so that now I've got a third shot. And I'm pretty proud of doing that. So I've got a third shot to the green that doesn't involve this damn tree. A little bit lazy with the eight iron and we're short. And then I convinced myself that this putt's going to be slow through the sand and it just isn't. But it's been fairly tidy. There's been nothing here that I did not expect. I knew I was going to have issues with the back. Flag is on the right. Can I fade a seven iron into it? And the answer is yes. So it's not all bad, you know, the stuff's still there. Now I'm going to show the whole clip here. I had 135 to the flag and pacing out to the ball. I want to know how far it's gone because that was a good seven iron and it's gone 151. So I'm pretty pleased with that, considering that I'm definitely down on speed. Chipping back with a pitching wedge. It was a bit clunky, so it's a bit short. But now I'm going to show you something that's absolutely criminal. I've been taking the flag out for my scoring putts, and I couldn't be bothered to walk up to the camera. So although it doesn't quite show from this angle, and you certainly can't hear it, this putt is just right of centre, clips the stick, hits the edge of the hole, and spins out. And for a mistake that bad, there's only one place I belong. You're going to jail. You're going to jail.